Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Building blocks allow you to create reusable content that you can insert into your publication pages. For example, you could save your company's logo and name as a custom building block that you could insert into future publications without having to recreate all of the content and related formatting. The content that can be saved as a building block can range in complexity from simple text entries to more complex logos and watermarks. The building block content is saved into and organized by galleries. You can create your own custom building blocks, or you can use one of the available options you will find within the building block library. First, you will need to create the content within a publication that you want to save and reuse as a building block. Often you will group the content together using the group command prior to saving it. Once you have created the grouped content, you then need to select it. Once the content that you want to save has been selected, you can save it as a building block by clicking the Insert tab in the ribbon, and then clicking the Page Parts button that appears in the Building Blocks button group. From the drop-down menu of Choices, choose the Add Selection to Page Parts Gallery command. This will invoke the Create New Building Block dialog box, where you will give Publisher the information it will need to store and organize this content for later use. Enter a name for the building block into the title field. Enter a brief text description of the saved content into the description field. You'll use the gallery drop-down to choose the type of gallery into which you want to save the content. To ensure the content is available in the gallery, make sure that the Show in Gallery checkbox is checked. Use the General Category drop-down to either choose an existing classification category or create a new category for classification purposes. You can enter keywords into the Keywords text box that will allow users to search for the part by keyword if desired. Once you have finished entering the information, click the OK button to save the selected content as a building block into the selected template. Once you've saved a building block, you can easily reuse it in the future. You will now learn how to insert building block content and also how to edit or delete existing building blocks. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachyoucomp dot com forward slash free